Sampled by Paul Tuma, Tapping It is time to finally use tapping to say goodbye to limiting convictions and beliefs you have pinpointed in the previous exercise. Choose one of the beliefs surfaced on being alone, one you feel close to you. For example, being alone is dangerous. Ask yourself, how true is this belief for me? Rank it on a scale of 1 to 10. Start stimulating the karate point. Tap with your fingertips and utter this sentence. Even if I have this belief, you can mention this belief out loud or in your mind. All of this can change, and it changes now, while I observe it. Stimulate the karate point for about 10 seconds. And then, while tapping, repeat the sentence. Even if I have this belief, repeat the belief. All of this can change, and it changes now, while I observe it. Keep tapping on the karate point, and then repeat the sentence for the third and last time. Even if I have this belief, repeat the belief. All of this can change, and it changes now, while I observe it. Why is it important to repeat the sentence three times? Why is it important to stimulate the karate point so long? The answer is easy. To see the desired change, it is necessary to first neutralize what is defined as energetic inversion, which is the self-sabotaging that your unconscious mind makes to hold on to the unwanted state or behavior. After stimulating the karate point, start tapping on the spot on top of your head. Do so for at least 10 seconds. Now, Stimulate with your fingertips the points on your eyebrows for about 10 seconds. Then tap on the point on the outer part of the eye. As you do so, repeat this sentence. I let go of any emotional attachment to this belief and what it represents for me. Now, stimulate the point under your eye for 10 seconds. And, for another 10 seconds, the point under your nose. Then, move on to the point on your chin. Now, tap alternating points under the collarbones. As you do so, repeat this sentence. I let go of the energy held by this belief.